now like to ask uh, Mayor Mike Trope to come forward and read a proclamation. City of Quincy, Illinois, official proclamation. Whereas in 1962, President John F. Kennedy designated May 15th as National Peace Officers Day, and the calendar week of May 15th falls as National Police Week. And whereas, on average, one law enforcement officer is killed in America every 58 hours. And whereas each year, on average, 150 law enforcement officers are killed and thousands of law enforcement officers are assaulted in America. And whereas in the history of the Quincy Police Department, five officers have been killed in the line of duty. And whereas law enforcement officers across our great nation work countless hours for the benefit of all. And whereas our community desires to honor the service and dedication of the men and women of the Quincy Police Department who sacrificed much for the safety and security of our community. Now therefore, I, Mayor Mike Crow, do hereby proclaim the week of May 9th to the 15th, 2021 as Police Week and Saturday, May 15th, 2021 as Peace Officer Memorial Day in the city of Quincy and I urge all citizens to make every effort to express appreciation to these men and women who are willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary to protect us and our loved ones against all who violate the law. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor Crow. Twenty twenty was a rare year. We all know that. Uh, in all, nationwide, three hundred and sixty-two police officers died in the line of duty in twenty twenty. Two hundred and thirty-four of those were from COVID nineteen. That, in, in and of itself, is an amazing number. And I mean no disrespect to any of the officers that died from COVID nineteen, but we have to remove those numbers from the rest of the officers dive so that we can adequately compare to other years to, to really see what's going on in, in the, the uh, world of policing regarding officers dying in the line of duty. So removing the COVID-19 numbers left us with 128 officers nationwide who died in the line of duty last year. 59 by criminal attack, 33 from traffic crashes. 128. That's an amazingly good number. The most recent year going back where we, I can find a number lower than 128 was 1959. The past 10 year average for officers who died in the line of duty was 150. But the good news stops there. 59 officers of those 128 were murdered versus a 10 year average, the last 10 year average of 60. While that is below that average, remember it was a much lower total of officers died in the line of duty last year. 46% of the officers who died in the line of duty last year were, were murdered versus the 10 year average of 40. Clearly, police officers are being targeted at a higher rate. But it gets worse. So far this year, after removing 64 COVID-19 deaths, we have 61 officers who died in the line of duty. Of those 61, 38 died from criminal attack. Those 38 murdered officers is 62% of all the year-to-date officers who died in the line of duty. That is unacceptable. <clears throat> in Illinois, in 2020, we had 10 officers who died in the line of duty. 
nine of them from COVID. The one that was not a COVID related death died from a traffic crash. I will now read the names of those officers who died in the line of duty in Illinois last year. Officer Marco DeFranco, Chicago Police Department, end of watch April 2nd, COVID-19. Sergeant Clifford Martin, Chicago Police Department, end of watch April 10th, COVID-19. Chief Terrence Engel, Hampton Police Department, end of watch April 11th, automobile crash. Officer Ronald Newman, Chicago Police Department, end of watch April 17th, COVID-19. Corrections Officer Sheila Rivera, Cook County Sheriff's Office, end of watch April 19th, COVID-19. Officer Joseph Capello, Burroughs Park Police Department, end of watch April 24th, COVID-19. Deputy Richard O'Brien, Cook County Sheriff's Office, end of watch May 3rd, COVID-19. Corrections Officer Antoine Jones, Cook County Sheriff's Office, in the watch May 10th, COVID-19. Corrections Officer Jose Marquez, Cook County Sheriff's Office, in the watch June 28th, COVID-19. Officer Titus Moore, Chicago Police Department, in the watch November 24th, COVID-19. Already this year, three officers in the state of Illinois have died in the line of duty. Officer Gary Hibbs, Chicago Heights Police Department, end of watch March 12th from an assault. Senior Master Trooper Todd Hanneken, Illinois State Police, end of watch March 25th, automobile crash. And Lieutenant James Koski, hometown police department, end of watch April 3rd, vehicular assault. That's two out of three that were murdered. That's 67%. Historically, the Bi-State Quincy area has had 14 officers killed in the line of duty. William H. Dallas, Quincy Police Department, in a watch May 30th, 1876 from gunfire. Thomas J. Seahorn, Quincy Police Department, in a watch August 19th, 1878, criminal attack. Raphael A. Gerard, Hannibal Police Department, in a watch December 16th, 1900 from gunfire. John McGonigal, Hannibal Police Department, end of watch July 13th, 1916, gunfire. Robert Bumpster, Quincy Police Department, end of watch May 24th, 1919, gunfire. Edwin James Simmons, Adams County Sheriff's Office, end of watch June 8th, 1924, gunfire. Ross S. Creech, Missouri Highway Patrol, end of watch December 12, 1943, traffic crash. Osmer G. Milbert, Quincy Police Department, end of watch October 28, 1957, gunfire. Frank J. Howell, Quincy Police Department, end of watch February 19, 1964, heart attack. Milford M. Trail, Hannibal Police Department, end of watch January 26, 1965, heart attack. Edward W. Robbins, Hannibal Police Department, end of watch May 2nd, 1968, traffic crash. Floyd J. Farr, Illinois State Police, end of watch December 17th, 1968, traffic crash. William R. Brandt, Missouri Highway Patrol, end of watch June 12, 1970, tornado. Clark M. Irvin, Canton, Missouri Police Department, in the watch October 18, 1989, assault. I read those names every year so that we don't forget. For the officers, so you don't forget the dangers of the job. You don't forget those heroes that have gone before you. You do everything you can to go home to your families. For the community, so you don't forget that the job that police officers do it's a tough job and a dangerous job at times. Even in this area of the country, small town, mid, mid town Illinois, and USA, Illinois, Missouri. Since we last met in 2019, since we were unable to have our ceremony last year, four retired Quincy police officers have died. 
Lieutenant Alfred Griffin passed July 12, 2019. Officer Alvin Simpson passed October 10, 2019. Lieutenant Richard Hessling passed June 11, 2020. Officer Dennis Bowden passed March 17, 2021. In addition, Chief of Police Charles Gruber passed April 26, 2021. While he did not retire from the Quincy Police Department, he was our chief from 1976 to 1986. Please join me in a moment of silence for all fallen police officers. Thank you. I believe I've already made it clear that our officers are being targeted at a higher rate now than in recent years. It is not just individual officers with targets on their backs. Law enforcement itself is being targeted and actively attacked on all fronts. Now, do not take what I'm saying to mean that I do not feel there is a need for change in policing as well as the criminal justice system. Law enforcement, the front line, and an important piece of this criminal justice system must constantly be scrutinized and changed as necessary. But that change must be reasonable. And I have to say, I haven't seen a lot of reason in much of what I see coming our way. It's my fear that the noble profession of policing may soon be recorded on that list of those murdered senselessly. Now I've challenged, you know, I don't know if the word, right word is challenged, but that's the word I'm gonna use. I challenged uh, our officers to stand steadfa steadfast, weather the changes, and not make rash decisions regarding their careers. But that's tough to do in these times. So I will offer some words to help do that. I apologize to Quincy officers who may have seen this a few times already. But please listen closely to these words and apply them to what our profession and your own life is enduring. If. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. You can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowances for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good or talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet triumph and disaster, treat those two imposters just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. You can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on and there's nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son.
base. Detail post. Personnel, present arms. Concludes this year's ceremony. I want to thank everyone for coming. I want to thank uh, members of the Quincy Police Department uh, Honor Guard for the job they have done this morning and always do. Um, for those uh, active law enforcement officers, there will be a law enforcement appreciation lunch served at noon in front of the Quincy Police Department. Um, meal sponsored by Serve Pro of Quincy. Auto Vending, Heartland Coca-Cola, and Classic Signs and Engraving. Thank you all. Have a good day.